I gonna say in this situation? Like, I'm just gonna have to be silent. I'm gonna be so awkward. I'm not gonna know what to do. Like, what am I gonna do? So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to a Friday video. That's just gonna be an update video slash response video to my last two videos, which was the finale of FNM, RIP FNM. And then also my video about why I don't fit in. Those are two like really well performing videos for me. And I think there's some misunderstandings. And then for the FNM video, I also wanna go over some of you guys' ideas and maybe get some further ideas for what to replace FNM with. And then I also wanna give you a few updates. If I look a little disheveled, if things don't look as put together as usual. It's because I've already been filming all day today. I had Darian over, we filmed another makeout video. So I had to fix this part of my makeup because it was smeared all over my face. If you guys wanna check that out, the link to that will be, well, it won't be anywhere. You'll have to type in my name for OnlyFans because I can't post my OnlyFans link in the description. That gets me a content. TOS strike or whatever the fuck you would call it over here. Today, we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna chill out. I like my top. I thought this top didn't fit me and then I really Realize it's just not very supportive. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. I don't know how to sit on this couch. It's kind of like I'm sinking into the couch. It's a little weird. Updates, updates in my life. Shit's been going pretty well. We have a really, really busy next like month and we've had a really busy month. So this weekend we are driving down to San Diego. I'll try to get some B-roll for that and uh, more about B-roll later too because I got some good suggestions on why people don't watch the B-roll videos. So we're driving down to San Diego for Hunter's brother's graduation. The next weekend is our only kind of free weekend. We have a dinner with like our friends and I'm hoping that Hunter goes out a little bit and stuff. But after that, it's like his sister's wedding, Jay's birthday, another wedding, like back to back, just like social stuff. And like, if I had heard that come out of my mouth as like past Tara, I would have been like gagging and crying and being like, no, I'll just stay home. You go do all this stuff. But like, honestly, I'm a little bit excited about the busy weekends. I, I like it. It's it's like fun for me, kind of. I don't know. I, I, I just like, like experience things with Hunter, but I'm also down for like some stay at home sleepy weekends. But I know that usually one of the days on the weekend we'll get to do that. And then I'm also excited because I think San Diego is gonna be really cool. Hunter did his, uh, I think undergraduate or something in San Diego. So he used to kind of live there. So I'll get to see a bunch of the places that he enjoyed. I'm sorry, I put on a shirt that I did not wash, not this one, but the previous one, but the previous video, I did not wash it before I got it in the mail. I just kind of got it and put it on and now I'm itchy and I won't ever do that again, but I'm lying. I'll probably definitely do that again. Just like, I'll think of this and be like, oh, it's gonna happen again. And you know, fool me twice, you, it's my fault or some shit, I don't know. Anyway, so I think San Diego will be fun and nice and relaxing. We are going down a day early, which I think should be interesting. Other than that, just really been like trying to keep up with everything. And I, I feel like I have a better work balance now. I can't always keep up to date with all of the OnlyFans messages. Sometimes I get up to like a thousand and I'm like, holy shit, I need to do like fucking 300 a day for the next week or something. And I can't can't keep up with customs. I usually don't take customs because I just don't have the time. And I don't do two videos a week yet. So there's still some ironing out to do, but I feel a lot less like scrambling everywhere and being super stressed and trying to balance like home life and being like a good housewife type person with like also having like a full time plus job. So that's good. I'm happy with all of that. I'm happy with the amount of time that I've been able to spend with friends and like doing fun stuff. We went to the Mastodon concert, which was cool. So Something really interesting that I don't think I can say on here happened to Jay while we were there because we went Jay, Brittany, me, and Hunter. And uh, we took Hunter and Brittany, Jay's girlfriend, to Ikea for the first time. That was fun. That was last weekend. So we've been doing like little fun things here and there. I want to do more outdoorsy stuff. We haven't gone camping since my last camping video and we haven't done any kayaking or anything. I really want to do some kayaking, but I have to figure out what the best way to attach the kayaks to the roof is because last time we did it, it literally fell off on the trail and we were like, oh, it's just falling off on the trail because the trail is bumpy, you know, it's like an off-road trail. And then we got on the freeway and it, I was like, yo, it's moving a little bit. So we pull off and it's like almost falling off. And I'm like, we could kill someone with a kayak falling off the roof of this fucking Jeep on the freeway. So we're looking at racks. All of the racks either have to be like for a four door Jeep or they have to like go onto the top in like a drilled way, which I don't like. So we're still looking for a good two door roof rack or rack lift option. There's like an inflatable rack on Amazon that might work for the topless Jeep, but I really just need to like figure out how to tie the shit down better, I guess. I don't know. So let's start with the 
I don't fit in video. I highlighted some good advice and I also highlighted some misconceptions and I'm just gonna read these out and I'll put them on the screen too so you can read along with me and just kind of respond to them. I really loved the feedback that I got on that video. I always love anytime I have an actual problem and I'm like, yo, I need advice. You guys are always there for me and you're there to give me like the tough advice that I sometimes need and then you're also there to give me the troll advice that like, makes me stronger because obviously it's just like people being mean or you're there to like be like, it's okay, keep your head up and stuff like that and give me all that affirmation. So I love that about you guys. Tasha said, I would just go out and make new friends as a couple. By the way, this is the video I'm talking about. If you want to watch it first, it's a video about me not really fitting in because my new boyfriend, or I guess it's not that new anymore, friends don't really hang out with girls and don't really understand the idea of a girl being into boys stuff, but there's a lot of nuance there. So please watch it before you have any feedback. I would say go out and make new friends as a couple, then you'll make cool, not prissy, boring lawyer type friends. And they'll just be used to y'all being a joint package. This sounds like it might be the only option, but I'm begrudgingly listening to it because I, he has so many friends to begin with, it's hard to keep up already. And I don't want to devote even more time to being social because I'm like, I think I'm at heart at least more of an introvert or at least like, I just don't like enough people. And I feel like that would be so difficult in Vegas where people are kind of transient and don't stay here. And I kind of just want to move. Like I was saying, I just want to move and like the new friends that we make, they just already know me or something, or I don't know, or get him into gaming somehow. Cause it does seem like gaming guys, they get it more because if a girl's going to actually truly be in the gaming or like magic, the gathering or something, then she's probably going to be more of one of the boys. And they also don't have that like boys vibe because they're nerds. So I don't know. I think that might be the only option, but I just, I can't imagine devoting more time to that. And it also seems hard to define people that were like fun. And then you're like, Hey, you want to go out again? It's, it's weird. It just feels weird, but maybe I'm just like overanalyzing it. But thank you, Tashana. Did I call you Tasha? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I always love fucking seeing your comments and stuff. And you've always been really supportive of me. So don't think I don't see you. I try to respond, but not always. So Paula says, Hmm, this is a hard situation. I definitely don't feel like you should be forced to hang out with those girls if you don't want to. Hunter doesn't really force me to hang out with them, but like when it's a couple's thing, I'm kind of forced to be more of like a girl cause I'm a girl, you know? Uh. So I do have to like talk to them when we're all out and like the couple's dynamic just changes things so much. I don't know. Has Hunter ever told his friends, Tara genuinely enjoys hanging out with us and asked if it would be cool if you hung out with them every now and then without the girls. I also feel like one of the reasons his girlfriend scrambled to show up when you come around the guy group is because they're intimidated by you. I think that might be possible, but I don't think so. I think it's just like the standard like nosy wife situation or like they like wanted to come already and now that there's a girl there, there's a reason for them to come. I don't really know why it is, but the thing I wanted to focus on more was the has Hunter ever said to his friends. It sucks because like Hunter has a very weird surface level friendship with most of his friends and like he doesn't like to rock the boat with anything. Like that's what I was saying in the video is like, he'll just like bring me sometimes without telling them, yo, I'm bringing her or like, yo, is this cool or that? He's just like not good at communication with his friends. I feel like that's something he lacked when I first met him. And now we are like really good at communication, but him and his friends are not. And it's just not that vibe. I don't know. Like they're just bros. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to be like, oh, I never thought about Tara's position on this. That really sucks. Yeah. We'll try to make some more time for her and like figure it out. They're not my friends and they're not really at that depth with him either, which I think brings me to the next one, which is this one by Crow. It says, girl, keep in mind that if you befriend his friends, they will always be his friends before yours. And if y'all happen to break up, you'll lose them too. So that's something I'm a hundred percent fine with. I know a lot of other girls in the group have been like so sad that they lost all of their new girlfriends and guy friends or whatever. But like, I actually relish in that because I don't want to have all of these friends. What I want is to have that dynamic with my person of like fun, degenerate going out guys stuff. And I want to experience that with him, but I don't care to build like real bonds. Those people are just kind of like, like his friends, they're kind of like, they're good acquaintances. They're cool or whatever. But I would never consider them my friends, even if they considered me a friend, because first of all, I know that happens. I've seen it happen in the friend group, but I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for an experience, if that makes sense. You know, like if there was someone who's like really great to go out with and like a lot of fun, but you could never have a deep connection with them and you don't really like care, care about them. Like that's how I feel about his friends. They're just a vibe. They're a vibe that's created for Hunter around Hunter 
Hunter that I want to also experience with him. And the only person there I would really care about is Hunter. In fact, if like Hunter was removed from the group, I would always see them as more just like acquaintances if I wouldn't go out with them without Hunter. But like if I did, it would just be like acquaintances who are good at partying, but then I would have my closer, truer friends like Jay. So I'm not looking for more friends. And that's another thing that bothers me and makes it harder is that it's hard to explain. I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for inclusion in an experience with my boyfriend occasionally and his friends. So next one is by Albert. Albert is very MGTOW. So he gets like triggered randomly when I say shit and thinks like I'm just a girl or whatever. And he says, let him have his guys night and get over it. You don't need to be around him 100% of the time. If you don't let him do this, you'll lose him. I agree with this 100%. And this is a totally separate issue. Like I might have like clinginess issues, but that's a totally separate issue from like never ever being able to experience friendship again in the way that I used to, in the way that I'm used to, the way that I used to and the way that I'm used to. So I do agree that like he needs to go out and like, even if I was always invited, I would want him to have time apart from me, not necessarily for the guys thing, but just to have time apart from me because I am clingy and we do spend a lot of time together. So like I said in the video, very clearly at the beginning of the video, I do think it's good for us to spend time apart and we work on that. And I'm like trying to give him space in these certain situations, but that's not going to ever result in me being able to come ever because it's always going to be that weird dynamic, if that makes sense. So this one is actually a pipe dream of mine. I just wish that Hunter was kind of a different person that could speak these things to his friends and then like work on it with me. But it really feels like it's just kind of a lost cause either because he's too stubborn or because they're too stubborn or because the girlfriends are too stubborn. I don't know. But like this is like my ideal. This is what I would want to happen. So I appreciate that someone who barely even knows me, this guy, the average Joe would post it or the average John, sorry. It's very small on my phone here. If you can see like it's, it's tiny. Seen you on a podcast with Ariel a few days ago. So just found your channel. Don't know you, but can give you how it worked for me. My chick used to be a stripper and through that had like a one of the guy's personalities. Depending on how your boyfriend is, he may or may not be cool or feel weird about you and him meeting new guy friends together. I think he's okay with it, but like I couldn't imagine how that would play out. Like we would have to go searching for places with friends. It just seems impossible. What me and Keely did, the stripper, was I just told my friends, your girlfriends aren't into what we do. Mine is. So she's going to come chill with us sometimes. That is like a dream. It's like a fucking pipe dream that for Hunter to do that. But he, I, he wouldn't, he just wouldn't, he wouldn't like put his foot down like that because like what his friends think about him is really important to him. And he, he just doesn't rock the boat like that. I don't know. I don't know how to get him to do that for me. The other chicks will try to impose at first because they don't want to feel like the new chick is getting to do something they're not, which makes perfect sense, but that'll change. Well, it did for us anyway. They came for the first five or six times. See, Hunter would never give it five or six times. I don't know. But everyone knew what time it was, so just endured until they lost interest, and she ended up being the only one who did want to come out with us sometimes. Not cool to just sit at home and do nothing. So just talk to him and have a few awkward moments to be able to be yourself. We've had fights about this. I'm literally, and he thinks that like if he goes out with them alone, they'll eventually be okay with me coming sometimes, but the dynamic's always gonna change. He's never gonna be like, look, stop being fake in front of this girl. It's not that kind of girl. You don't have to worry about it, type of thing. He's just not gonna take that initiative. And I don't know. So I personally am gonna like wait to see if I can kind of be okay with that. Cause I think the compromise is I'm just never going to get that except for in accidental circumstances or maybe like years down the line. And I'll just have to deal with my only experiences like that being with Jay or something. I don't know, like we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna like stick it out because I think like loving someone is a choice, but this is definitely like the biggest letdown and the biggest like hurdle because I would never want my partner to be like that with me, you know, and not be able to like make that situation happen for me. So it sucks, but otherwise I'm happy. So it'll work out. So let's move on to FNM. So this was a really good post by Eric and this is from the FNM video. So we're moving to the FNM video now, which is right here. If you want to watch it, it was the last video I posted on my channel, the very last FNM farewell, but he had a good idea or like a good input. He says, as for engagement with trip vlogs, I mean, it's just not for everyone. It's a lot of B-roll with very little story. It's kind of like a long commercial. That's not a comment on your stuff. It's just my perception of the vlog format in general. So what I wanted to ask you guys, I want you to watch this video, which is my normie boyfriend and teaching him gamer lingo. And then I want you to watch this video, which is, what was it? I don't have it on the screen right now. I'm actually gonna have my editor pop it up. It was some, some fucking fun B-roll vlog. I, I can't fucking remember. All right, it'll be on the screen, all right? Those are two different types of vlogs I do with B-roll. One has a point, so it's like this 
this sit down vlog, but just with a beginning and ending of B-roll and in a different setting. What we did is we had B-roll in the beginning, then a lot of talking with the topic, all that stuff, and then B-roll in the end. And then there's the other one that is more like a long commercial. So I think I need to stick to not like a travel vlog, usually at least. I'm gonna do it for the PCH because that just has to be all PCH. It was a fucking seven to 10 day trip. But I think I'm gonna just try to do some B-roll without like off putting the people who don't like the B-roll and then having substance in the middle. Or I could try making it a story, which I think would be really cool with like a climax and a resolution or whatever. But I, I don't wanna give up the B-roll because I love it. And I also don't wanna stop like having videos up of the stuff that Hunter and I and like me and my friends have done that are like amazing and life changing to me, like trips. And like, we're gonna be going like out of the country. This is my second time ever other than Vancouver, that doesn't count. And I wanna document that stuff and share it with you guys and then have a place for me to go back and look at it. And it's all nicely done and not just like clips or pictures or whatever. So I'm not giving up on it, but I hear you. That type of thing can be boring. And that's probably why the engagement isn't there. Plebe or pleb says, I think a monthly Q and A focused around a main idea or theme with outfit try on would be great. Would keep the feeling of F and M with less hoarding issues. Keeping the outfits in theme with the Q and A would be amazing. For instance, off road slash camping Q and A with the outfits to wear involving hiking, Jeep, outdoor, etc. I mixed those two up. Oops. Yeah. So give me more ideas like this. Like what should I do to fill the void of F and M? Because yeah, I want to do a Q and A, but do I take the Q and A from like the last weeks of videos? And then should I just constantly say like, Hey, do hashtag ask Tara and ask me anything and I'll put it in the videos. Or do I just take them the day of from Instagram? Like I did with next week's video. It's going to be with me and Darian just taking questions. Should I do a try on of just things that I've bought for only fans? How would that work out? Just like, give me ideas because I want a fan engagement series without all of the hoarding. That's basically it. And I don't want to feel bad if I have to throw something away because like the thought was there, but like, I'm not going to use it and it's going to clutter up that, you know, like, I, I don't know. So give me ideas that will help. That's about all I have for today. I can't really think of any other updates, but yeah, I just wanted to clarify some things and like say that you guys have really helped me. Thank you so much for like all the suggestions and stuff. Sometimes it's just something I need to work out in my head. And I think I have like a semi rigid view of like how relationships should be. And there are certain things that I feel like I couldn't compromise on that like maybe I can, I don't know. I have to try it in order to find out because you know, when you haven't really invested time in something or you haven't tried something, your brain as like a coping survival mechanism will kind of make it seem scary. So like the most relatable one probably is if you're kind of an introvert and you don't go out a lot. And this happens to me too sometimes in certain social situations where I know I have to be fake because I'm not used to that. I'm not used to like maybe let's say I can't cuss or let's say I can't like make certain jokes or whatever. Or let's say people don't like me talking about OnlyFans. Like that has happened a few times where I had to like kind of be more demure and like different. And that always gives me this anxiety where I look forward to the event with fear because I'm like, what am I going to say in this situation? Like I'm just going to have to be silent. I'm going to be so awkward. I'm not going to know what to do. Like what am I going to do? And then it psychs to you out when really that's just your brain trying to like give you all the worst case scenarios so that you survive. It's like a fucking archaic coping mechanism. So you prepare yourself when really everything, if you just relax, it just kind of flows. So that's how I'm trying to see this, like all of these like changes that I've had to make for the prosperity of this relationship is just kind of me being like, understand that people love you differently. Understand that people like different things and it's not anything against you. Understand that maybe what you're used to, you can cope without it. And that's kind of where I am with the whole like fitting in thing. But I really feel like there are a few, very few things that I could never imagine doing in my life. And like, actually like every time I saw that kind of relationship where the girlfriend just kind of like stays at home and does boring girl things and does girls nights out and they have very separate friendships and the separate friendships are like very different. And the girl is just kind of like a good girl. And the guy just goes out and does like basically whatever he wants. And like, like maybe cheats. That's not the case with Hunter. Cause like, what is cheating in our relationship really? But like all of that stuff just made me sick to my stomach. I'm like, I feel so bad for that person. And they probably like it kind of, they probably want to be this like housewife. They probably like these like girls trips. Like I see people going on bachelorette parties and they're like bachelorette party of my motherfucking dreams. And it's like just sitting on a boat drinking wine. And I'm like, I would die. I would literally die. It's not me. So I don't know if I'm trying to fit my personality into a box that just won't work with the wrong partner. Or if I can like find a middle ground and adapt and like he'll adapt too and we'll figure it out and we'll just like fall into place. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is keep trying and give it time and try to be patient because my head always spirals out of control and goes like, ah, if it's not working right now, let's just stop while we're ahead and I'll go find someone that makes more sense with me. But like in many ways he makes 
makes perfect sense with me. It's just, it sucks that some of the things are like so big, like so different and so big. It's like these hurdles are worth it to me and I've decided that, but sometimes it can be hard to find the resolution to keep up with it. You know, it's like, ah, we will either figure it out or we won't like, fuck it. Just like let it, let it flow naturally and not be a control freak and not try to make it perfect right now. You know, hopefully we'll figure it out. Doesn't really seem like anything that can be changing. So I'm just going to keep it open mind to maybe it not changing and trying to work it out. Like, I don't like being around people that much anyway. So maybe like he and I just go do that stuff and he treats me the right way and that's all that matters. Maybe I don't have to do it in the group or maybe like, I don't know. Cause I don't want to do it with anyone else without him. So we'll see. I don't know, but I do appreciate the advice and I appreciate that like, you know, some people were giving me, I thought everyone was just going to shit on me. Like the way Albert did. I thought everyone was going to see it that way. When like, I do have an essence of that. I am clingy and shit like that. But like, that's like a totally separate issue. There, there's one where it's just like, I'm clingy. I need to fix it and I'm working on it and give people space and stuff. And like, I get that. And then on the other hand, there's like this thing I don't want to change at all because it's who I am being one of the guys and like, you know, involving the person I love and not excluding anyone that I actually care about or that someone I care about cares about, you know? So yeah. And with f and I am just happy to not have to worry about hoarding because it did give me a little bit of anxiety to be like, one of these days I'm going to have to have a bigger house and a bigger house. And I don't even know how to organize this stuff anymore. Cause at first it was cute. It was just like, I was just decorating the room with stuff, but then it was like, nothing was staying in place and stuff was fine. I kind of just want to get like a bulletin board and put like the best art there and then ha keep my books. I have my books still full of stuff that you guys made me and sent me and like notes and stuff. And I'll just keep those. And those can always be like, the, bo the books are actually kind of cute too. They're like Magic the Gathering little books with like slip inserts kind of like for um, comic books and stuff. So I think maybe at some point I can incorporate like letters and stuff, or maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just give me ideas about FNM because I feel like some people get some ideas, but it wasn't perfect. And yeah, I don't know. I love you. I'll give you more updates once I finish this very, very busy month. And um, maybe we'll do some terror rates or something. Tell me what you guys want to see. Post in the comments what you guys want to see. And I'll try to deliver because, you know, I don't know. I never know. I just like do stuff that like feels fun or that I have time for. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm doing these days. Mostly just trying to like make money so I can invest. I'm like thinking about that. Like I'm trying to get all these different, like I have my LLC set up now. I have my bank account set up. Everything is getting more streamlined so I can see where stuff is going. And like Hunter and I opened a bank account. That's cool. I don't know if I told you guys that, but like now we have a bank account together, which is like our first step of actually having things together. That's interesting. I don't know. Like we were looking for a house, but then we decided to wait because like it's not a good time to buy. And like there's just a lot of little shits going on that hasn't fully become flushed out. I'm excited to tell you about it all. I love you guys. Happy fucking Friday. And I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, titty. <laughs> Bye.